welcome back friends welcome to another tutorial from Shomu's biology and this is this time I'm answering many of your questions asked questions regarding CSI net exam and another very common question that I've been asked is uh, how can I find out all those uh, math biology problems that is you know bi biology numericals are there in CSI net exam and if you study every single time CSI net uh, question paper you will find out that like, approximately uh, 10, 12 uh, numericals in biology are present. In some cases, 8, 9, 10 uh, biology problems, math problems are present. And actually, uh, the good thing about the math problem is that you can answer those problems uh, really, really fast. Like if you know the formula, you can answer them fast and in a better way. That's one good thing about the math problems. And you can actually know the answer. If you know the answer, you can directly go there. Like you don't need to think of very hard. Just no, need to know the formula and you can answer it if you know. So the question is, it's really important to prepare for the biology math problems because you won't find them in most of the books. And actually there's no book that combined all those biology math problems together or the numericals together. There are separate books have separate numericals in the exercise part and stuff like that. So how to prepare for that and exactly which are the numericals that we should prepare for CSI net. Actually, in my YouTube channel, you will find 40 different types of numericals from all the different modules that are required for you to prepare. I've uploaded that almost two years earlier and you can check them anytime, you can prepare them anytime. But this time, I'm just going to give you a suggestion about uh, which units are more important for asking all those numericals and what type, what topic of numericals are there that you need to prepare. And that thing I'll tell you in my computer. So let's go to the computer where I'll point, point out which numericals that you need to prepare as well as uh, how uh, from where you should prepare it. Um, and you know, as I tell you the sequential like for module one, there are a few types of numericals. You can find them separately in internet. Uh, and if you join Shomos Biology Coaching in both the cases, we, we actually provide you the numerical book along with numerical questions and numerical answers that you can get. I can prepare for that separately. We combine them from outside and also you buy, you can buy it from our site if you want to, if you wish to, you can buy our CSI net uh, DVD pack which is going to release very soon that will be tagged with the numericals, heat map for CSI net and many more really, really high yielding uh, books uh, and notes uh, that will really help you to gain in, in, important knowledge about the exam. Okay, so without further ado, let's go there in, the, in my uh, desktop where I can tell you about the different numericals okay uh, so as per we talked earlier here are the different units and modules and their associated questions that you can expect start with unit 1 or module 1 this is a biochemistry module and you will expect question from Gibbs free energy and the change in free energy that is delta G calculations using the formula of delta G equals to RTL and K or RTL and product by substrate. Then enzyme related math, especially cal calculating the turnover number of the enzyme and catalytic efficiency of the enzyme. Then pH related math, pH and buffer associated math. Go to module 2 that is cell biology, you will get questions related to cell division. Uh, although the weightage is very less. but from module 1 every year questions are asked. From module 2 it's not uh, every time that the questions are asked but they can sometimes ask like the total number of cells after division and bacterial growth curve math that is with the generation time. Then module 3 or the molecular biology part they may sometimes ask question from Meselson and Stahl experiment, DNA melting, GC ratio and the number of GC in the DNA number of chromosomes present in the cell and sometimes associated with genetic code problems. In module 6 that is plant physiology, they will ask you questions associated like water potential and solute potential. Then straight to module 8. This is a highly important module for math because genetics is filled with mathematics, especially the non-Mendelian as well as Mendelian genetics. Pedigree analysis probability and risk calculations and penetrance, gene mapping and interrupted mating. These are the things that you can attempt from here. Module 10, ecology. They will ask you question from population growth 
and population number related problems both the logistic curve as well as the sigmoidal growth and in especially they can ask question from lotka volterra model and the lotka volterra equation and they can ask question related to the birth rate and death rate and per capita growth rate and primary productivity associated problems uh, module 10 is equally important uh, for the math module 11 evolutionary biology which is also tagged a little part with the population genetics they will ask questions like hardy weinberg problems reciprocal altruism problem especially with the hamilton's rule this is also really important because they ask these questions every time module 12 associated with molecular weight problems restriction digestion and restriction mapping which is not exactly the part of module 12 but a part of module 13 indeed which Altogether, module 12 and 13 known as the biological techniques and they can ask questions from protein chemistry especially with the molecular weight of the proteins and restriction digestion of those proteins uh, and DNA and also uh, sorry actually restriction digestion of DNA and other types of digestion of protein uh, using chymotrypsin trypsin you need to know the sequence of amino acid where it cuts and uh, sometimes ask to SD page and gel electrophoresis while in module 13, they ask you questions associated with biostatistics like chi-square test, t-state, uh, t-test, uh, as well as they can ask questions from standard deviation calculations and radioactivity decay, that is calculation of half-life. So these are the type of math problems. Actually, if you just need to follow follow these topics line by line, and you will be prepared very well. Uh, for the set of math problems that you are going to see in the exam and actually if you study with us Shomu's biology we actually have all these problems listed in our separate note and we provide that along with that we solve questions from each of this part in our courseware so if you want to join Shomu's biology you can easily click on the link that is provided in this video as well as that's provided in the description that you can easily check and once clicking there it will be redirected to our website from where you can join our online coaching or classroom coaching so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that thank you